What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing something a little different. Instead of doing a 60 Days in review, I want to review a couple videos that I've seen on Instagram and on YouTube. They're actually all over the place. This first video is pretty damn funny. It's about a Sally. I don't even think it's true. I think it's kind of set up, but it's about a Sally who ain't sharing no food. It brings up a very good topic when it comes to living in lockup. Should you share food with your roommate, ladies and gentlemen, in prison or jail? The quick answer is yes, you should. But there are times where you can say, hell no, this is my food. You ain't getting it. All right, so let's go ahead and just watch this video and I'll break down a little bit as we go or towards the end. My Sally ain't shit. There he is. Take a good look at him. Oh man, he's like, man, stop with these games, dog. Look at that face. Look what he made for himself. Damn. The nigga ain't made me nothing. He nothing. I'm starving. Look at this big ass burrito he done made. Is y'all seeing this? Damn. Chili on top, stuffed mm. with hash Are browns, you done? eggs, All cheese, you done? jalapeno peppers. Oh. No, I'm not done, Timster. Timster. Is that what he said, Timster? Is his name Timmy? Maybe that's some gang words. I don't know. Timster's what I got from it. Looks like a Timmy, man. <laughs> hey, he looks like something that might not share with you in the cell, too. He'll eat something on the sneak load, too, while you're sleeping, man. Timmy, man. Shit. But look, he said that damn burrito had hash browns, beans, jalapenos, cheese, egg. I mean, damn. That ain't no burrito. That's an omelet. That's an IHOP omelet that you're seeing right there, ladies and gentlemen. And he's whipping this shit up and ain't giving his celly nothing. This has got to be some shenanigans. It's got to be a game. Because the guy obviously got some money. He got a cell phone. They're playing games in that cell, man. Timmy. One more look at the tipster. Yeah. Yeah, let me see the pee fingers. Uh, yeah. Look, can I get Thank space? you. Can I get some space? He got these in it. Over easy. Over Damn. easy eggs. As my essay partners would say, the huevos. The huevos. Ah, what's it, the huevos? Anybody know what that is? I don't even know. Half these. Hey, look. They gotta be on the West Coast, man. You see that right there? You see my cursor? You see that bottle of cheese behind him? That's what I was cooking with in yesterday's fish patty video. I told you that was authentic cheese. Was I not playing? You can get that on Amazon. But, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this clip had me laughing my ass off yesterday. You know, uh, should you share with your celly? Yes, you should share with your celly. But sometimes, you know, it, it, it's, uh, I guess you could say, only the strong survive mode. You know, like lockdowns and stuff like that. Let's say you're on a six-month, seven-month lockdown while they're shaking down the facility and you're running out of food. I mean, you're going to be sharing food then? I might a little bit, you know, a little something, but for the most part, when it comes down to nitty gritty, you know, I got to survive, man. And then if your celly never gets money at all, you know, you, you've been a celly with him, well, it would never happen with me. If I got a celly that ain't got no money, I'm getting the hell up out of cell. You know, I'm not going to be living with someone that's flat broke for years on end, you know? So usually broke cellies get up with other broke cellies. You know, people with money like to be with other cellies that got money. You know, they like to enjoy their own food and stuff. And that's another reason why I never got into gangs. Because you're kind of obligated to share all your food, especially if you're a little one of them, uh, you know, low rank cats and you're getting in some food. You're going to be eating with the homies, dog. And you can have no relaxing alone time with that burrito. But yeah, during them long lockdowns, you know, you ain't going to be sharing too much. You know, you're not going to be sharing too much, but... If you are forced to be housed with someone that ain't got money at all, I mean, you can do what you can for them. And any Selly with enough common sense and respect and uh, conducts himself in a manner, he can recognize that you're sharing with him when you can. And if you get low on food, you don't share that much. He's got to respect that shit, man. Now, if your Selly comes in and, and is just making huge meals right in front of your face, but he's giving you plenty of kick it. You know, y'all are talking all the time, but he's making these huge meals and he doesn't even offer you any. That's disrespectful, man. But you can't really say nothing about it because it's his shit, you know? So this guy, that's why I'm saying this guy right here, he's probably, this is probably just kind of like a little tomfoolery they got going on in the cell. You know, I've been seeing a lot of videos where guys are just, you know, cutting up. A lot of videos I've been seeing lately ain't really vicious at all. It's just these dudes trying to live and survive in prison and, and showing it to people, you know? Like I said, anything and everything to an inmate is being in contact with the outside. So when they drop these videos and they 
uh, keep up with the comments and all that stuff, and they see all these people out here in the streets are actually liking it. I mean, yeah, they're going to cut up. You know, they're going to have some fun with it. And uh, it is what it is, man. It's 2020. Cell phones are everywhere, all over the penitentiary. I mean, that's the name of the game now. But this was a very funny video. I enjoyed it thoroughly. And the next video I got coming your way is how I used to cook. Okay, this is exactly how I used to cook during these long lockdowns in a prison called Greensville. The compound was so big that lockdowns would be three to six months sometimes. You're guaranteed to be in your cell with your celly for a few months, half the size of a bathroom. You know, I was tattooing in prison and some of the major forms of currency that is like $2, $3 an item is what I got paid because doing tattoos would be like 20 bucks. So the easiest way to pay me money was through summer sausages or tunas, you know, or just other ways, other ways, but when it comes to commissary. So I had a lot of tuna and a lot of summer sausages, more than I had soups. You see what I'm saying? Not so much more, but let's say if I was to cook with it, I would run out of soups before I ran out of summer sausages or tuna. So during the lockdowns, I would always run out of everything. My summer sausages would be last, and this is exactly how I used to cook them on lockdown. Everything that you see this guy doing on this video is the exact same way that I used to do it in prison. It's crazy to see someone doing it in a different prison, different state, different uh, ethnicity, doing it the exact same way. Some things are just nationwide, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready to do my famous cooking today, you know what I mean? This is what we do, we make the fire bombs right here, you know what I'm saying? What he's doing right there is making like a candle, all right? And believe it or not, how he's wrapping it up means the world to this candle. Without the proper wrap technique, it's just gonna go up in a quick flame and it's gonna be non-controlled. You wrap it up nice and tight like he's doing, you make a perfect candle and the, the flame will be controlled and you'll see what he's gonna do with that afterwards. We use all this toilet paper, you know, and then we're gonna make a little fire that's gonna cook and roast, you know what I mean, the summer sausage. And I'm going to show y'all all that as we go along. This is called Prison Cuisine, and this is how... We got a six-point star. They had that in uh, the prisons I was in. They had that jewelry. It's for the Jewish people, though. We cook, that's how we get out in there. I don't Five know if he's Jewish. Them, believe, believe. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Five of them. Please believe it. Ha <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Some deodorant. Look, that's a women's deodorant, too. That's the stuff I buy in the pen. That stuff make you smell fresh. The nurses love it. Summer sauce, you know, take that summer sauce out of there. You know what I'm saying? Do it like this. Boom. Cut this in there because we're going to rotisserie this guy. And notice why I made all the little cuts in it right there. See the cuts? That's the way it's going to cook inside real good. See how easy that was? Pop in the socket, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly what that's called. Uh, Done that a million times. Shit. It's exactly how we used to do it. Everything down to putting the number two pencils into the side of the sausages for rotisserie, you know? Uh, this is exactly how I did it. Over here. Exactly how light the bomb. hundreds, thousands of people Bam, we'll light the bomb up. See that? Sit it right there at the end right here. Light it up. Bam. You'll see that. I got that. Boom. Light that right I there. I see right it. inside of that. They got the porcelain sinks. I ain't never been in a cell with a porcelain sink. Boom. And we got it. See that? Most people be like, yeah, you know, we're cooking next to a toilet, not in prison. Okay, he doesn't think twice about it. He doesn't even mention it. He doesn't, you know, that's how it is. You don't think twice about it. There's so many different uses of that damn toilet, you'd be surprised. I made a video on it. But yeah, this is exactly how we used to do it. You know, the first time I did it, the first time I ever rotisserie fied my summer sausage, I did it wrong, believe it or not. I used my tattoo candle. <laughs> I used my tattoo candle with the shit that's made out of the the uh, hair grease so i grilled it man not thinking that thing tasted like a damn tasted like it tasted like jerry curl juice on that damn summer sausage boy that shit was nasty as hell you know i wasn't thinking man i wasn't thinking but uh that's how we did them man you know and believe it or not it brings back a lot of bad and good memories being on those lockdowns for so long Y'all see me cooking, you know what I'm saying? I see. And nothing gets all of it cooks right there, and we do like this, and you know. Now I'm gonna take it's gonna take about like five, three or four minutes, you know what I'm saying? Then it's gonna be nice and blackened, and I'm gonna have blackened summer sausage for you know what I'm gonna plan to eat today. You know I like this guy. 
I really do, man. He seems like a really cool Sally. Just TikTok and shenanigans, man. You know how we do it? <laughs> All right. I need Ah, come on, man. Why you gotta throw that in there, big dog? I like how he laughs at the end of all of it. Ha ha, alright, alright. It's right here, you know what I'm saying? And how it's blackened and nice and black and chocolate. You want it cooked good, you know what I mean? Dang. You see, it's nice and black in now. Mm. Yeah, now it's ready. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. I love this, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I gotta take care of myself. I gotta eat, y'all. You know? I know that's right, man. You gotta take care of yourself. Do not say you love it. Do not say you love it. If anything, just say, man, I thoroughly enjoyed this, uh, considering my circumstances, you know, but, nah, we don't love that shit, but we do have to take care of ourselves, and we eating good, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving y'all the prison cuisine, prison cook tutorial. Yeah, <laughs> please believe it. Through thoughts. <laughs> Through thoughts. What does that even mean? Prison, I got that fire ghetto Kool-Aid with all this sugar and all this Kool-Aid. For real, work it. He kind of remind me of Kali Muscle, huh? For real though, hey, hey, nigga living like I'm supposed to live, you know what I'm saying? All glory to his eye, for his eye, to this eye, yeah. What? You know what I'm saying? What? Once again, sugar and Kool-Aid make this good old ghetto Kool-Aid, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, the cameraman even had a laugh on that. Let's rewind it. Cameraman ain't said nothing. He ain't said nothing the whole time, but he gets a little chuckle off his dumb ass right here. Watch. Oh, ghetto Kool Aid, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Ah, he's enjoying himself and every day, damn Kool Aid. Boy, look, look. Damn. You know, so even in prison, I got that fire ghetto Kool Aid. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know what to say about this video, but, uh,. Yeah, we got the Kool-Aid. That is for sure a fact. We had the Kool-Aid in there. Uh, they used to sell these pouches actually in prison. This Kool-Aid, man, it was better than real Kool-Aid. You sprinkle that stuff on Jolly Ranchers, make pretty candy, make good drinks, put it in your wine. I mean, all kinds of things. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is living your best life in a cell for the most part. I mean, there's many other things that inmates do to make their time easier. But ladies and gentlemen, if you got anything from this video, please do not forget to share with your celly. Alright, the only times you probably should not share with your celly is if you just don't like his ass. Or you're just feeding the guy too much. Okay, it's good to share. It really is. But you don't have to share every single time you eat some. I hope you enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. Please do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification bell on your way out. Add me up on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Go buy yourself some Lockdown 23 and 1 merchandise. Support the channel. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I salute to every last one you've been supporting me since the beginning. And everybody who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound. Y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.